second day, we lose our only other medic we got, and that's Dan Shea, who was posthumously uh, awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. He was going about his fourth time when he was killed. And I got, got him in, got his body in, and, and now I'm the only medic. So I downed my pack near a tree and got all of my pressure bandages and everything out of there, put them in all of the pockets that I had, and I retreated into the perimeter, and now I start going out to get men. I see a guy laying out there, and he, he's near a trench line. Got, this guy's got a stomach wound, been shot in the stomach. This is real serious. I gotta get, I can't move him. I've gotta get bandages on him and get moistness on the bandages. Finally get him patched up and I kinda carry, get him back into the trench line, gently back in the trench line. And um, I'm trying to w figure out how I'm gonna carry this guy. I can't throw him over my shoulders and I've gotta get him through the crossfire and I gotta get him to the perimeter so I, picked the guy up like a baby and got him to safety, put him in a safe area. Then another major wound happens and I crawl out, a guy by the name of Kent Nielsen, a machine gunner, got shot through the shoulder, come out the front. I get him in, patch him up, leave them in a nice safe area and I've got about four or five people here that are badly enough wounded that I wanted them as safe as they could be and yet I could get back to them during the night, I did. Before long, we're running low on ammo. The lieutenant calls for a blinking light because he's going to try to get a helicopter in with a resupply of ammo. Well, nobody jumps up, so I take the blinking light and literally low crawl out, and I'm, I, I'm prone position on my stomach holding this blinking light, and these flashes are coming over the top of me. And I think two things. What is that? And, uh-oh, if they kick that ammunition out, and try to hit this blinking light, it's gonna land on top of me, I'm a dead guy. Well, they never were able to get in, so I was safe there. I turned the blinking light off, crawled back. Out there in the front line, all of a sudden I realized what was coming over. There's an RPG round over where I left my pack behind those two trees. I see the muzzle come out, I take a grenade, I flip the handle off, count to two, and I throw it right over there by this tree. And and the muzzle goes up in the air like that. Next morning, I find him out there, and he had his hand on the trigger of the RPG, and he was going to fire around into our area. So I got him just in time. 